All right, article this week. Um, this video game means that if you die in the game, the game is done permanently. <laughs> like like, uh, like hardcore mode in Diablo? No, 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 because in hardcore mode, you can still play the game and start over. This game, you have it, you die, and you can never play again. Rest in pepperonis. Yes. What? That is that awesome. Is What's insane. the name of this game? So, I'm looking for the name right now, and I'm trying to find... Oh, yes, Upsilon. Cir uh, Upsilon Circuit. So, basically, you um, play this game. It's from an indie developer uh, from the studio Robot Loves Kitty, which is an interesting name for a studio. Yeah. But um, they're calling it... Perma permadeath. <laughs> Perma permadeath. Yeah. Okay. And this you, is like the kind of game that Nick Studio Rad Sandwich would come up with. This is something that Nick Studio would come up with. <laughs> yeah. right. Just you like, die, you can never play our game again. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but what's really cool about this, what I was reading about it, is so you all uh, you have only eight people can play at a time, but a vast audience of spectators can stream the game live. Plus, they're empowered to toss aid or obstacles to the all two mortal players. In the event of a permadeath, or I, I, sorry, perma permadeath, perma a random perma viewer death. becomes the next player. What? Like a contestant on the Price is Right summoned up from the crowd. So you're not only. Oh my God. So your 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 life as it is has ended in this game. That's crazy. But somebody else picks up the torch and continues on. That's really nice. That's really really cool. Yeah. Now I I would play this game a lot like Dark Souls. Uh, demon, being uh, demon, super careful. Super, I'm, I would walk with whatever shield I have, <laughs> weapon at the ready, and then just make my way down, and I would be afraid at every step. That, yeah. is, that is literally how I play Dark Souls. It's just like, ah, oh, what's that thing? Is that a thing? I, can I attack that? I will not attack that. I'm going to run. Yes, don't, <laughs> don't, don't do like you did in our D&D game, where you're gonna about to put your hand in a well and blow off your hand. Let me just poke it with a stick this time. I'm just, a, I'm, I'm just gonna go in and grab it. And everybody just looked at me and went, don't do that. Don't, don't. <laughs> Are you not happy you listened to us with our low intelligence? I'm glad I still have an arm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so what do you guys think? Um, I um, I think this is really freaking cool. Great. I hope. Uh, I like the concept, man. That's really awesome. I hope it's free. <laughs> yeah, because then that would kind of suck, right? Okay, thirty-nine ninety-five. You're good. I mean, I feel like this is more of a social experiment than it is. It is. The, I mean, because it's it's um. It's like kind of the concept, it follows a little bit the concept of uh, the Hunger Games, where people can send aid, right? So they have sponsors who can send them aid on like little parachutes. I love that sound. Yeah. And then it's just like the little aid that falls in the little parachute right, thing. Right. And then it's like something that they currently need. So like it would be amazing if it was yeah, some kind of, too. but it would be amazing if it was some kind of survival game where you have to survive as long as possible, kind of like in the Hunger Games. Yeah. And then, I mean, because let's be honest, if you die in the Hunger Games, you're never playing again. Because <laughs> you did. Just, just like real life. But this is, this is cool. I can't think of another game that's ever done perma perma death, where you can never play again. There was one, I remember of one game that I heard of, where you would be interrogating a person. Or you're, you're talking to a person and they're tied up in a chair. And you have the option to shoot them. You don't know any history about them. You don't know why they're tied up in the chair, but you have a gun pointed at them and you can choose to shoot them or not to. And if you shoot them and you reload the game, they were still dead when you reloaded the game. Even like completely ruined your-, your Completely, the, the, the they're dead. Is gone? Completely dead. No, wow. like completely permanently dead. But because it was like a kind of sent to send a message like that is permanent. Like there's no respawn in real life, you know? And I really liked that that concept, but I think this takes it to another level. Oh yeah, because then you can very play very the game. cool. Because a lot of games incorporate a certain permadeath mechanic, because you know you have your hardcore modes, of course. But then you have like games like let's say Dark Souls or Demon Souls, where if you, uh, I, I remember the first. Which came first, Dark Souls? Was the was the first one? Demon Souls. Demon Demon Souls. Demon Souls came first, right? Okay, so Demon I remember. Demon Souls and so then Dark Souls and Dark Souls Two. Right. So Demon Souls, when you're at that central hub. And you can go to your different missions, right? If I you, hated the Nexus. I know I hated it too. So it's but a terrible system. It is what it is. But you 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 had your NPCs there, and I remember that I didn't know this at the time when I started playing. But if you kill the NPC, he's gone for the whole game. <laughs> he's gone forever. 
<laughs> so but he's like going on a rampage in the Nexus, killing yeah. everybody. Yeah. And he goes and he plays for like ten hours. He comes back to the Nexus. All right, I'm gonna spend my hard earned. Where's wah, everybody? Wah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I killed the dude that was rec yeah. I remember that was a reason I hated Demon Souls because I killed a guy who was like super necessary to like the story. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I did the same thing in, in uh, Dark Souls too. Uh, yeah. Dark Souls, they, they did the same I didn't thing. Play, I played Demon Souls and I raged guys. so hard that I never played. Because I ended up in a space where all my equipment was broken, but I died twice, and then I couldn't didn't have enough souls to get any more equipment or to repair the equipment that I had, and therefore I was considered completely useless. Yeah. So my game came to a complete, and that, as far as I'm concerned, is a game design fail. You should never have a complete fail fail state in a game like that no i fail state is fine die you lose your souls they drop on the ground you can go pick them up but if you die again you lose them that's fine that's a fail that's a good fail state but yeah to the point where all of your equipment can be completely broken and then you have out of sheer bad luck die and lose all your souls and can't repair anything i wouldn't call it bad luck i would call it the decisions you made led to that point and now you have it to doesn't over. matter that's a that's an oversight in the design. As far as I'm concerned, a game like that should not exist. Well, I mean, I hated Demon Souls so so much, and when I got Bloodborne, I was like, everything I hated about Demon Souls is gone. Yeah, because they made it more better. They made it better. Action oriented with with a health mechanic to regenerate. Like they they gave you a a, a little bit of a crutch. For, you know, the, the game. But they removed the biggest crutch in, in, in the series so far, Shield. Shield is completely useless in, the, in that game. In what? Bloodborne? In Bloodborne. You're forced to have to actually attack, attack things. Of course, because you have to constantly regenerate your health. Yeah, but the, the, the game design in Bloodborne was enormously better than all the predecessors. Well, it's also series. a lot faster, too. You're, you're playing a much quicker game in general. Not necessarily. I mean, yeah, you can run through sections, but apart from that, you still have to be just as cautious as you were in the other games. Because shit hits you just as hard. Yeah, but you you have to be more on your toes. I, I, I compare it to, like I said, when I start, when you started the art earlier, mm -hmm. when I play the game, like I played the, the Dark Souls, shield up, sword out of the ready, and I, I'm inching forward mm -hmm. at every chance. But that's that's such a boring, that's such a boring game. Like, think of that. But that's, You're fucking, you're, you're got your shield, you're just like, but imagine, imagine so how exciting, feeling. so riveting. Yeah, but imagine how you feel as a player because you you don't know what's coming. That's that's where the thrill comes from. You're like, but you do know what's coming. No, you don't. Because whenever you, you walk through know the coming. same area, the same shit pops up in the same place. Yeah, but the first time, that, the first time around. Well, the first time around, there's a bunch of games that have done that way better. You know what? A perfect example. Go, go. Dead Space. One. Dead Space One. Okay. You start the game. You get off your ship. Shit goes crazy as you enter the space station. People are like, run, run, and you're like, fuck. And you're running everywhere. You're running down a hallway. You're getting chased by shit. The last second you run into the elevator, you smack the button. And then it's just like a monster's like, Rah! and then the doors close. And you're like, oh, thank God. And then they rip open again. And you're like, oh, shit. And then smack, and then they close shut again. And you're like, Okay, so I have to run a lot in this game. Good to know. Then they send you, they can get out of the thing, and then they're like, you need to get to a place, blah, blah, blah. And so you start running there, and you're running, and you're running. And there's this fucking hallway. It's shaped like, it's shaped like straight, then it turns like this, and it goes like this. And there's like a corpse on the, on the floor. And as you're running by it, that corpse is a fucking alien, and it comes to life, and it's just like, blah, and you're like, blah! You never ever run again in that fucking game in your life. You will never run a game again ever in your life right, in that, that game. That, that, that's for your first to the point, with it. To the point where I forgot there was a run button and I needed it at some point and I was just like, fuck, I wish I could run in this game. <laughs> like, they scared the run button out of me. Like, that is proper, that's a proper way yeah, but remember, to, 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 to yes. enforce caution in a player, right? Right, but that's that's an exciting way because you're, you're, you're more <coughs> engaged, but that's the thing. See, but that's that's game design and narrative done right and level design done right. That's, that's all the aspects working together 
in a way where everything works right. What? We're, we're, we, what? We're, we're, we're the sandwich of, of, of neutrality right now. The, you, we're, Ren and I are the... <laughs> we're pulling it. We're, we're, we're just like, okay, Mike, we'll, we'll let you have your, your thing. <laughs> Ren, do you want to elaborate on your, your thoughts? Well, to come back to the original... The point of the topic. <laughs> the point of the topic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, what's it called? Upsilon Circuit. Upsilon. Yeah. <laughs> what? Mike's dead around space, uh, dead space rant. <laughs> it was more like a, it was more like a Demon Souls rant, and how Dead Space is a way better job than. Yeah. So Epsilon. Yes. Epsilon Circuit. <laughs> very interesting. Yeah. I think it's a very, um, very cool concept. It's a very cool concept. It's very different. The, it's very different. The per, perma permade. Uh, very interesting. I think that we'll see how uh, we could have, we'll see how people do. Yeah, I think we could have. Um, multiple different types of games, like it's gonna you know, be action games, platformers would be extremely hard to do with just one life. Oh. Well, it depends on the platform. Yeah. yeah. The buttons are very, the, the controls are very spot on. Then yeah. It's, you know, it's very if there's unexpected, It also depends on the platforming. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know that Mario level where there's like that one block? Yeah. And you have to like, boom, boom. Yeah. Like, there's no room for error kind of thing. You can't have that kind of thing in a game like that, right? Well, Mike, with your Guild Wars 2 training for platforming and jumps, I'm sure you'll make <laughs> oh, it that all the time. Nope! Oh. I hate jumping puzzles so much! I hate them no, no, so no. much. I hate them when they don't feel like a natural part of the game. Oh no, they are a natural part of the game, no. but I don't feel no, like I suck. Press, I, I, like I'm good at them. If, <laughs> if you press... W, especially when you don't have like an analog where you control the, the speed where you're walking. Uh -huh. If you press W too long, you fall. If you just want to go on the, you know, it's not. Yeah, but that's just don't suck. But the I thing know, is, is I suck. So like, <laughs> I'll be like the guy who accidentally dodge rolls off the edge. Uh, I'm but like, we're, we're we're gonna agree to say <laughs> we're gonna agree to say. Guild Wars 2 is an MMORPG. It's yeah, not it's an not action platformer. That's no. right, it's not built if, for that. If you take, for example, our Croft, uh, Tomb Raider, yeah. the, the most recent one that came out, it had amazing platform. Tomb Raider Go? The one before that. <laughs> so I can imagine a game that's, that has perma permadeath in a game that is um, like platformer, right? <clears throat> so you have a platformer that has perma permadeath, you have a shooter, like a survival shooter, let's say like in the Amazon or something where it's perma perma death. Mm -hmm. Or even fucking, uh, they could do a Hunger Games a game. sur You know what, a survival game with the perma perma death feature where you live as a, as a, as a person who has to survive in this Something game. like the long so, dark or something yeah. like yeah, that, exactly. but where when you're dead you can never play again. Like that, I, I totally see that mechanic working. Yeah. Like you invest time and it's like, well, that's my life. That's what happens. Yep. I totally see that working. Mm. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. So don't forget to like down below and you should subscribe a little bit farther down to the right here, if I'm not mistaken, or technically right below me. And then you can check out our Facebook page at Too Much Sugar Films. And don't forget to check us out on Twitter at TMS underscore films. And I believe we've got a couple of videos on the right here. On the left, on my right, whatever this is, here. Oh, watch. Yeah, click. Other video. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.